And then we'll chat about gangways open on Toronto's waterfront. Always a good time. And they've got uh, some new stuff for this year, too. All that and so much more. Daytime Toronto starts right now. I just love the waterfront and now that the sun is shining it's just a great place to be and what a fun thing for you to enjoy it's gangways open the marketing manager for the waterfront bia alex verju is here hello hi val you're going to fill us in on all the great details along with the co-founder of toronto market company melissa zucker who's going to talk about the wonderful artisan market that's available this time too so let's talk a little bit about the gangways open this is how many years in the running that's a good question. Well, it's part of Doors Open Toronto, which has been around since 2000. Gangways Open, I believe, has been around for uh, six years now. Great. And we've got tons happening this year on Toronto's waterfront. We will have roving pirates animating the waterfront. So Are you, you can go up and get selfies with your pirate, with the pirates, and they've got lots of fun facts for kids and, and anyone who's interested. And also the first 500 visitors will be given a free waterfront welcome bag full of goodies and gifts Ooh. from local business in the area if you spot a pirate. Um, we also have um, uh, the doors and the gangways will be open of plenty of, of ships along Toronto's waterfront. And I've done this. I've gone up on the ships and it's a, it's fascinating. Absolutely. It's free dockside ship tours and you can find out about the history of, of the ships and the waterfront. Um, this year we've got Mariposa Cruises involved, um, the Great Lakes Schooner Company, Toronto Brigantine's Tall Ships, Empress of Canada, and... Um, and um, we just saw one that looked like a tugboat. Oh, yeah, that might be the William Lyon Mackenzie fireboat, which you'll be able to see in action as well. Go down, meet the firefighters, as well as get a tour of the Toronto, um, Toronto uh, Fire and Marine Station. And you'll even get the opportunity to go to the police, the Toronto Police Marine Unit, and get a guided tour of a variety of vessels that um, perform rescue and response calls on the Toronto waterways. Wow, and those tall ships are gorgeous. E exactly, and on the tall ships, you'll even be able to meet a captain and the crew and learn how to tie traditional knots from experts. Mm -hmm. But we also have a whole bunch of other animation this year, which is new. We will have um, roaming performers. So from Shadowlands Theatre, um, we will have magicians, pirates on stilts, uh, circus artists, and um, as, um, circus artist will be will be there as well. So a bunch of different performers will be animating the waterfront. <gasps> Look, there's a woman painted in gold. That's Goldie. Wow. <laughs> yes. Now the products sit here. Melissa, did you bring these? I did. So these are some of our vendors who will be part of the waterfront artisan market. It's a new market that's launching on the waterfront. There's six weekends that are happening this summer. The first of which is. Um, May 28th and 29th, which is part of Gangways Open as well. So this is just an assortment of some of our artisan vendors. Um, the market is a mix of like artisan vendors and also fresh cook on site food from mm. interesting, you know, up and coming chefs. And um, it's a really great place to come and discover new new things in Toronto. Right on. What did you want to highlight for us today? Um, well, I can start over here. Okay. Um, have you ever had cold brew coffee? Listen, I've heard that it's quite different. I'll just hold this for the camera quite different than just standard hot brew that's been cooled. Right? Yeah, so basically the process is, is that instead of using a hot um, hot water to create a coffee, you use a cold water and it creates this cold brew. It has to sit for longer though, right? 18 hours is wow. what they um, how they do it. It's produced right here in Toronto. It's um, a local company. A great alternative to you know your iced coffee that you could get anywhere and it's it's amazing what what's amazing about it is that it takes out the acidity and the bitterness that you often find with coffee so it's just naturally a little bit sweeter yeah just if you like that coffee flavor without the bitterness of that aftertaste um, this does not have it so pour a little bit of this over some ice maybe a little cream in there amazing okay. Love so it. these guys will be participating all six weekends of the market. Um, just one of the interesting food artisans that we have. Um, this is from a vendor of ours called Len. They oh, do look. hand printed tea towels. And this is one of their husky prints. Very cute and on point. Also comes in, you know, aprons and, and other sort of towels and accessories as well. Beautiful. It looks like screen printing or something. 
like I know what I'm. T- I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, exactly. To sound For clever. sure. So most of our businesses that we work with are local, sustainable, small. You know, local entrepreneurs that you know want a place to showcase their their goods. So another great example of that is Beekeepers Natural. Mm. So these are local Canadian um, honeys right here in Ontario from sustainable beekeepers. Raw means what? It's a good question. Well, my, here's, here's, <laughs> here's my assumption. Again, I'm going to display the little knowledge that yeah? it hasn't been pasteurized. So all the good stuff is still in there, hasn't been boiled out, right? Exactly. And basically, honey and all bee products have a lot of antioxidants. Very good for you. Have you ever heard of bee propolis? I've heard of it. but I don't So know. it's something that's new to me as well. Um, yeah. This is what they are known for. So basically, propolis comes from when the bees fly around, um, they pick up things in the trees and flowers that they use to protect their hive. Antioxidants prevent from germs, keeps it safe. So this is um, propolis, and they've created this formula that basically you can use, they they use it for your throat, and um, it helps prevent sore throats, helps you if you're sick. If you're around people who are sick, give yourself a spray. Exactly, or um, the owner was mentioning that, you know, if he has a little burn or cut, he just sprays it on there, and it's, it's basically like a natural healing product. Brilliant. These are great hats. Great. So these are bamboo lined um, and really? cork. Um, so the brim is cork here. It's from a company called G Fox and Co. Wow. And they also do these amazing wood sunglasses and wood washes. Is that what this is? Yeah. So it's a maple wood. And what's so cool is that if you're out on the boat or swimming, if it um, gets wet or falls in the water, it'll actually float because oh. it's um, it's made of wood. Nice. Yeah. Oh, they're gorgeous. And too. they have um, a similar watch as well. Is this the watch here? Yes. Oh my. So you can pick your wristband, which would either be cork or wood. Um, they're interchangeable as well, and they do a collection of gemstones. Look how beautiful that is. And that would float. It would float. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's great. Are these from the same people? The same people, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Alex, uh, we've got about a minute and a half left, so remind us the details that we need to know about the fabulous time at the waterfront. Absolutely. So Gangway's open this coming weekend, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Waterfront Artisan Market will be held in HTO Park, so come and check check that out there. Also, we've got spring samplings this year, so we've got local businesses involved in providing mm-hmm. free free samples of whatever their product or service might be. So if you're thirsty or hungry and you're wandering around the, wa- wandering around the waterfront, you'll be able to have a sip of sangria or try out a slider, um, even gelato. So you'll want to explore the local businesses around as well. You will, because when that sun is shining and it's coming off the water, you, you can get pretty hot. You need a little gelato to cool down. Exactly. And there's also two-for-one paddle boat rides at, on the Natural Pond at Harbourfront Centre, so that's fabulous for kids. And if it all gets too much because there's so much excitement, you can actually go inside Queensky Terminal and Purina Pauseway for the first ever digital format of our Tron on the Water historical photo exhibit. Where do we park real quick? Where do you park? That is a good question. Um, we've got a parking lot near Harbourfront Centre. And um, it's probably best if you do bike or if you take public transit, but there is there is some parking around around the neighbourhood. you got to go down. However you get there, go to the waterfront and enjoy Gangways Open. Enjoy the new fabulous um, uh, artisan market that's down at the waterfront too. Thank you both for being here and filling us in. But more details can be found at waterfrontbia.com and waterfrontartisanmarket.com. <laughs>